We are doing College Board AP Chemistry Free Response, Year 1992, Question 1, A, B, C, and D. Solid sodium hydrogen carbonate, NaHCO3, decomposes on heating according to the equation above. 2 NaHCO3 solid gives you Na2CO3 solid plus H2O gas plus CO2 gas. Question A asks, a sample of 100 grams of solid NaHCO3 was placed in a previously evacuated rigid 5 liter container and heated to 160 degrees Celsius. Some of the original solid remained and the total pressure in the container was 7.76 atmospheres. When equilibrium was reached, calculate the number of moles of H2O gas present at equilibrium. Since an equal, equilibrium problem, you should always start with an ice chart, which will be written as 2 NaHCO3 gives you Na2CO3 plus H2O plus CO2. We can omit these because they're solids and we would not need them in the problem. All we're focusing on H2O and CO2. Initially, there is zero amount of the products. At equilibrium, they are X, and these are the variables we will need. To solve this problem, we will be doing the ideal gas law, which is PV equals NRT, which is pressure stands for, P stands for pressure in atmospheres, V for volume in liters, N for moles, R is a constant of 0.0821, and T is temperature in Kelvin. We have all these con variables except for pressure. We are given total pressure, but we need partial pressure of H2O and CO2, which is solved as P total equals P H2O plus P CO2. So we are given the P total is 7.76, and we will use X as variables for H2O and CO2. So we get 7.76 equals 2X, and then we divide by 2, and we get X equals 3.88 ATMs. And this is the pressure we'll use in our ideal gas law which will be N equals PV over RT. So now to solve, we will have get N equals 3.88 ATMs times 5 liters all over constant of 0 0.0821 times 433 Kelvin, which we found by converting Celsius to Kelvin, which is done by adding 273 to whatever the Celsius value is, which would be 160 plus 273, and that gives us 433. So now we have 19.4 over 35.55, which gives us a final answer of 0.545 moles of H2O. And that is our solution for question A. Now, question B states, how many grams of the original solid remained in the container under the conditions described in A. So, we'll be using the moles we found of H2O in problem A to solve. Now, since there is a one to two ratio of H2O to NaCO3, which means for every one mole of H2O, we have two moles of NaHCO3. So we need a times 0.54 by two, which gives us 1.08 grams of NaH CO3, and now we set a proportion of 84 grams, which is the molar mass of NaHCO3, over one mole. Correction, this is 1.08 moles of NaHCO3, so now the moles cancel, and we are left with 90.72 grams of NaHCO3. Now we are not done because we have to find what is remaining, so we have to do 100 minus 90.72, and we are left with 9.28 grams of NaHCO3 remaining. And that's our answer for B. Now for question C. Write the equilibrium expression for the equilibrium constant Kp and calculate its value for the reaction under the conditions in A. So Kp expression is Kp equals products over reactants. Now we omit solids from the Kp expression, so all that is left in for our Kp expression is H2O gas and CO2 gas, which are both products. So it would be Kp equals H2O times CO2. And we know the values of these, which are 3.88, 
So we do KP equals 3.88 times 3.88. So our value for a KP expression is 15.05 ATMs. And that is our final answer. Now for letter D, which asks, if 110 grams of solid NaHCO3 had been placed in the 5 liter container and heated to 160 degrees Celsius, what would the total pressure have been at equilibrium? Now, the pressure would stay at 7.76 ATMs at equilibrium because 100 grams of NaHCO3 was not fully used in the first problem so adding more NaHCO3 would do nothing to final pressure. And there you have our college board AP chemistry free response year 1992 question 1 A, B, C, and D.